Stay savage, stay savage, it's your boy Shino Ben Trail was poppin'. So today we are back with another fact video. This time we're back with Dragon Ball Super Facts. A lot of you guys watch the Black Goku or Goku Black. I got kind of tortured in that comment section because I called him Black Goku when everybody was saying his name is Goku Black, which I apologize for. But ever since that video, I've been seeing a lot of people requesting more Dragon Ball Super Facts and not just regular Dragon Ball Super Facts. Everybody want to see Zamasu. So now I'm here with Zamasu Facts. If you guys are excited about 8 Facts about Zamasu, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for daily content. The first three people to retweet this video on on Twitter we'll get a follow back my Twitter at is at Chino Bentro now with that being said let's get in today's video let's get it Number 8. Zamasu is the third person to be promoted from the position of Kai to the position of Supreme Kai. Although his appointment to Supreme Kai was temporary and is the second to have his actual name revealed, the first person was Kurno. This man Zamasu was literally getting promoted, literally moving up the ranks. He goes from regular Kai to Supreme Kai and just decides to go batshit crazy. Like, who does that? Number 7. Zamasu makes his first debut in a video game as a playable character in Dragon Ball Heroes, introduced in the 10th mission of the God Mission series. This man is in Dragon Ball Heroes. We got Goku Black up in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. I know there's DLC expansion supposed to be coming later on down the line. Will we get Zamasu like coming in later on and then on top of him fusing with Goku Black? Like dude, if we get that, oh my god. Number 6. Zamasu's outfit shares the same color scheme as the Eastern Kaoshin in the manga. I don't see why they do that. Like, why give them the same color and then change it in the anime and have it different from the manga? On top of the manga being black and white, so it really doesn't make a difference anyway, right? Number 5. Zamasu is recognized as a genius among the Kais with a prodigious talent for fighting, with Goku remarking that his power surpasses that of Universe's 7's Supreme Kais. In the manga, the Eastern Supreme Kai even noted that Zamasu had greater skills and abilities than any of the current Supreme Kai from each universe. This man was literally stronger than everybody from every universe? Holy shit, well not everybody, but the Supreme Kais, you know what I'm saying. But still, the fact that he's stronger than all other Supreme Kais? What the fuck, Goku, you really gotta like put this man down. Number 4. Uniquely, Zamasu is the only character to have existed both dead and alive at the same time, due to the effects of the time ring. Like this man literally is escaping that just using the time ring i see you bro out there plotting number three generally zamasu is shown to be a very calm and methodical person as shown in combat when he carefully perceiving his opponent's attack style and seamlessly countering in a fluent manner while a man who cares for the development and prosperity of the universe, Zamasu often questioned the worth of mortals, not trusting in their ability to handle conflicts as they were prone to commencing war in a repeated cycle. Number 2. Zamasu had a fight against Kabito Kai, exclusively in the manga. I don't understand why they didn't put this in the anime, I mean it would have been really dope to see this animated, and the fact that we don't get to see Kabito Kai fight that much, you know, that would have been something actually worth seeing. They probably put it in the manga just to have a manga exclusive, that way they could collect cells or something like that but i'm not sure why they didn't promote this in the anime as well and you know make it seem like a bigger deal than what it was you know number one the word zamasu may have come from the japanese verb which translates to be or to exist unsurprisingly it shares the exact same definition with his master's hypothetical name all right guys so i gave you guys the facts now i'm about to give you guys my personal thoughts and personal opinions on zamasu if you guys have your own personal thoughts and personal opinions be sure to leave those in the comment section below if you got this far into the video make sure you hit that like button now with that being said let the transition begin all right so what can i say about zamasu i mean this man did take goku's body you know this man was supreme kai this man was plotting on some gods like this man alone is a threat i mean other than him walking around like this big ass cucumber you know he was really a threat like he kind of had this you know, at first I thought he was gonna be like this like quiet, you know, not really like a bad guy kind of vibe. And then later on it just was like plot twist, I'm this dark demonic motherfucker that's just gonna destroy all mortals if they stand in my way. The fact that him and Black Goku teamed up, you know, they got the time rings, that means they traveled to different parts of the time and they was just doing all type of mayhem and destruction in order to like create their ideal world and shit like that. Like that show, like he had his own motives, his own intentions. He wasn't even worried about true creation because you know, most Supreme Kai's their whole idea to create and sit back and kind of observe shit and just basically have like this whole sense of okay I did this I created this let's see how it plays out it's kind of basically it's like 
making a YouTube video in a sense, and you just kind of sit back and watch the YouTube video. But instead of him completely sitting back, he was like, you know, mortals, what they do is they come, they like get into conflict like heavily. So why not just destroy them? Because that's what they're destined for anyway. That's their cycle. They're they destined to repeat the cycle of like committing a crime of war or going like stupid, crazy during a war or some shit like that. So he was just like, fuck it, you know what? I'm about to off the whole squad. It don't make no sense because I can have you guys out here running amok and like killing each other or I could just do it myself and get it over with. That way, you know, you wouldn't have to deal with it later on. Then on top of him finding out about the Super Dragon Balls, he basically was telling himself, you know, if I attain this power, if I get the power of drag Super Dragon Balls, I can literally do whatever I want. This man would have been able to do whatever he want. Like, if he could do that shit, you know, like, this man would have been OD as fuck. That's probably another reason why Beerus kind of stepped in. But the thing is, like, we seen Beerus step in back then, but Beerus didn't step in as of recently. It's kind of letting Goku and Vegeta handle things, even though he could potentially, you know, wipe out universe, the universe that they're in, and, you know, like, just go ham. But, like, Beerus is kind of just watching, you know. I guess it's more of a, like, a test to watch, you know, Goku and Vegeta and see how far they, like, excel. And then, like, we got... Black Goku, or Goku Black going against fucking Vegeta, and they're, like, going super ape shit. The fact that this man, Zamasu, was able to, like, use the time ring, he was dead and alive at the same damn time due to the powers of the time ring. Like, what the fuck, dude? Like, honestly, a lot of people always say, you know, he's one of the, the best villains in uh DBZ Super, or uh, the DBZ world, and, like, I wouldn't say DBZ, DB world, Dragon Ball world. How, to me, it's, like, he's probably, like, top five, maybe. You know, if not top five, probably top six, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, we still have people like fucking Super Boo who turned Chi Chi into an egg and just stepped on her ass. And then we have a lot of different other villains. Like, Cell was, like, on some other shit. Like, Cell was not going down like like a bitch. Like, he literally self-destruct. He blew up in the middle of battle. You know, he basically made Goku teleport to another fucking world and destroy that Kai of that world. You know, this man, Cell was not fucking playing. Cell had his own, like, mindset. But then we got Zamasu on the other hand, who is supposed to be like a creator, like he's supposed to be somebody who creates and just sits there and observe, and then, you know, he's just like, fuck it, you know, instead of creating, why don't I just destroy this bitch and make everything what it should be, like, I think that's like the weirdest, like, concept I've ever seen for like, a fucking Supreme Kai, on top of him fusing with Black Goku, or Goku Black, however you want to say it, on top of them two fusing, and we might get the potential to see Super Saiyan Blue Vegito make a return, like, dude, the fact that we get to see uh, like that, like the whole potential there is like ridiculous. And then we got like two Kai's that are right there, you know, they could just be like Goku, you know, uh, Vegeta take this earring, they fuse, and then we got to see like Goku Black, uh, whatever the fuck they call themselves, fight against, you know, Goku and Vegeta, well, Vegito, obviously. And that shit'll be lit, like you can't tell me that shit wouldn't be lit. The fact that we haven't seen Vegito in action since like Super Boo and shit like that, that shit will be marvelous. I'm ecstatic, I cannot wait for this to go down, like, I'm mind fucked. But, like, if you have your own personal thoughts and your own personal opinions, be sure to share those with me in the comment section below. With that being said, my name is Chino Bentro. Stay true and stay real. Hope you guys have a blessed day. Make sure you hit that like button if you're new to the channel. Subscribe for daily content. You know, check out my Twitter. You know, follow me on Snapchat. Follow me on Instagram. It's all at Chino Bentro. And with that being said, I'm out of here. Bye, What's up, guys? Hope you guys enjoyed today's fact video. Now, today I'm going to show you how to get to my anime playlist. The reason why I'm going to show you guys how to get to it, a lot of people have been putting characters in the comment section that I've already done. And a lot of people keep asking me on multiple fact videos to do characters I've already done, which I've already done them. And I now i got to show you guys. So, basically, what you want to do is you want to go to the homepage of Shino Ben Trail. Yeah, I'm right there. So, you go ahead and click me. The, after you click me, you can either like click playlist, hit, which is here, or you can like scroll down. If you scroll down, you'll see anime facts you should know. So this is a playlist for every anime fact video I've ever created. So if you guys would like to like click that, basically what you do is you go to it, and then you know you can just scroll through it, and you can like see like every fact video I've ever done. You got like Godzilla, you got Naruto, you got Nami, you got Loxus, Erza, you know Lucy, Yamato, you got Great Full Buster, you got Kiba, Sakura, you got Haku. You have have majority Naruto but there's a lot of other characters that I'll be adding to this playlist so if you ever see an anime fact video then like you want to go back and watch it chances are it's in this playlist so you guys go ahead and check out this playlist and see whatever fact video you want so I'm gonna leave this rolling so you guys can basically find the fact video of the character that you want me to do that I probably already did and if you don't see your character in this playlist leave your character recommendation in the comment section below now with that being said I hope you guys enjoyed the video I'm gonna leave this running and I'm gonna get out of here Bye Z.